Hey everybody, so this is Tim, back again with another video and uh, super thanks to the response I got last week when I did my um, my video about the Houdini 18.5 launch. Uh, I got super nice response, I actually got a lot more comments on that video than I normally get on my videos. And I got super nice response to everybody uh, commenting on my arm, like I have a problem with my arms and they hurt like hell. Uh, so I've been taking it easy for the past week, I've hardly touched my computer, well not at all actually. In, uh, Aside from now recording this video and uh, uploading the previous one, I like didn't touch my computer. Uh, so this video is also not going to be edited. It's just going to be a monologue uh, or a rant or whatever you whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the response to that was super cool. People gave me also tips to how to maybe fix my arms a little bit. Uh, so that was super nice. So thanks everybody for reaching out. Uh, super appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I figured then now that I really can't do much regular uh, work stuff or recording tutorials or whatever for a little bit, um, I want to maybe do more of these videos, just monologue. And because I I've I've actually had a whole host of topics that I wanted to cover in a video something like this uh, at some point, but I never really got to doing those. But now I don't really have much else to do anyway, so I figured. Now is a good time to sort of do these. Um, and what I want to cover in well in this video is something I've been wanting to cover for a very long time. And it's a little bit difficult topic to cover, I guess. Um, but it's about pushing yourself. Uh, and then I mean, not in the way, the motivating way, because most people making the, like there's a lot of videos about that ah, push yourself to the limit and work super hard uh, and i'm gonna make the counter argument about why you should watch out pushing yourself uh because i'm i'm myself i'm a real workaholic and i always push myself to the limit and that's in everything i do i'm i'm very competitive like no matter what i do like if it's work if it's sports if it's like whatever i do i i'm uh, like if I if I grab onto like a subject I want to learn about I go all in like if I uh, uh, like whatever like uh, for example when I was like uh, I I never did much sport I did I did sports when I was younger but like uh, I never got super into it but when I started taking up fitness when I was like 22 or 23 I went I was like okay this is now my thing and I went completely AWOL on like the whole fitness thing for like three years and uh, I was I was bringing cans of tuna to music festivals and just eating and like I'm I'm that kind of person like everything I do I'm tend to <laughs> overdo it uh, that's just me and also that's also how like generally when I work I'm like that with my work I uh, um, I'm super perfectionistic and I um, I just work a lot like I'm a workaholic and i really love my work so that's like something i love to do so that's not not a problem but uh it is a problem to a certain extent and that's when i kind of want to go in into that into that video because uh to sort of shine light on um the dark side of pushing yourself too hard uh, i've been wanting to do a video about it for a longer time i mentioned that i wanted to get, do a video about getting into burnout and stuff like that at some point uh, so i'm gonna briefly go into that part uh, and i figured like now that i have my issue with my arm which is again probably because i've been working too much for the past months <laughs> that that my arm is playing up it might be something else because it also started out as like uh, when I was lifting and just started hurting there as well. So it might also just be related to some fitness stuff. Um, but um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of get into the thing of about pushing yourself, but not pushing yourself too hard. Uh, because the problem with artistic type work. So for example, like I'm a 3D artist and I love my work like and it's also my hobby like um i've i started making animations and stuff when i was like 14 just as a hobby and it was always like oh i wanna i wanna do this as a job at some point and that's how it starts with like i think most probably every artistic person ever whether you're an illustrator or a musician or whatever or like a programmer um to, to a to a certain extent like programming is going to depend of course on what you do with programming uh, but like people who are who do something artistically or like as a hobby and then make it their work it's they're sort of um it's going to be hard to make the work life 
distinction sort of okay if you're doing another type of job uh, like if you whatever you work in a restaurant and you go and cook there and and then you go home and you have your if you're have your own thing and then you're i mean you're still going to cook and you're going to experiment yourself but it's not something you can stretch out uh for like just keep doing it all like if if i go and work on my computer i can do i can keep doing that for 16 hours on end if i if i wanted to like but it's going to be a little bit different for other jobs or like if you're a doctor there's like a clear more clear work-life balance even if you're going to be uh, uh learning new stuff in your free time like reading books about it this is going to be a, a more clear uh distinction there and and with artistic things uh that gap like the line blurs a little bit and also with this job there's there's inherently like a lot of people are like uh super like they like a lot of people are just super perfectionistic and also because you always see other people's work and it's similar to i guess how uh like other people like you see stuff on social media and you're like oh like i love this image i love this video i want to be able to do that um and you feel kind of like inferior when you see all of the all of the cool stuff and then you feel like you need to work harder in order to to be able to get to that level of the work that you see but like everybody has that like i guess no matter how good you get at a certain thing you're always gonna look at other people's things and then like oh my god i wanna i wanna be able to do that and then they are gonna have the same they're gonna look at other people's work and like oh my god i want to get to that level so i guess that's a never-ending struggle that's gonna continue to go on and on and on and on and on and i guess that's part of the human condition to get philosophical i guess but um wait let me just get a sip of my coffee mm. um anyway so it's easy to sort of get lost in the whole um just pushing yourself pushing yourself and just get super stressed about that and uh what i also had when like in my 20s i'm 32 now but like in my 20s you're kind of you feel like you need to be super accomplished by the time you hit 30 so you're like look you're working really hard and hard and hard to like to to get to the finish line so you're like sprinting a marathon kind of um and what you're not supposed to do if you're doing a marathon you need to take it sort of slow and steady but you're sprinting the marathon and the problem with that is that you cannot keep doing that indefinitely you can do it like up to a certain extent but if you keep pushing that uh eventually it's just not gonna you're gonna run into a wall um and that was happened with me in 2017 uh so i mentioned this before in the video but in 2017 late 2017 i uh um i suffered a burnout and i think a lot of people don't understand what a burnout actually is because i see this term thrown around a lot um so let me just briefly get into what a burnout actually is because a lot of people are just saying oh i'm so burned out from do doing this thing for uh, like a little bit and then um so they they use it more as a i i don't feel like doing this thing a little bit more because i've been doing it too much but actually burnout is a it's actually a uh, physical condition uh that can also result in psychological issues uh so let me just just briefly explain sort of roughly what it does um but like if you're stressed your body produces hormones like cortisol and all of that stuff and then like that stuff will keep you focused keep you whatever so if you're if you're stressed for short periods of, uh, on on end the like that can help you uh uh like get get results i mean everybody knows it. like if, once you get stressed you like you get this energy you need to get it done and that's completely fine if you do that for like a short period of time uh, the problem is if you keep keep doing that and keep those like those levels elevated for years on end like so if you're just constantly pushing yourself like stressful thing after stressful thing after stressful thing and you can literally keep doing that for a very long time like, i mean some people i guess can keep doing it indefinitely without issues um but at some point um like it's gonna gonna it's just gonna uh, give issues like it's like a car if you like keep driving it at full speed eventually like some parts are gonna just break down uh it's also kind of what happens if you have a burnout so um like you've been pushing these cortisol stuff like forever and ever and ever and you just keep pushing it and after a while you literally run into a brick wall that's what happened with me at least late 2017 i was sort of feeling fine before that at least well if i looking back on it i can see a lot of 
thing that I had before then, the like kind of indicators that I should have taken it easy a long time before that. Um, but it was literally, I just, I got up at some point, like, uh, like uh, I was, I was initially, I, I wanted to take some time off for, from like doing jobs because I was like a little bit stressed. Um, and so I took some time off and then a cool project came up uh, during the time that I had actually taken some time off. Um, we, so, uh, which was actually the project I did at, at Colorbleed with the, uh, which I did a talk about was a solid gear and it was, seemed like a super cool project. So I did want to do that. But actually on the day that I uh, was going to start on the project and was going to do it in-house, I just, I woke up and I immediately knew something is wrong. I couldn't get out of bed. I didn't know what was going on. I just felt completely out of it. Um, I did manage to finish that project and it actually turned out to be one of the cooler projects that I've ever worked on. So I'm actually, but that was actually made during my time when I uh, uh, had the burnout. Well, then after that, I did take the time off and then I felt fine for like two weeks because I guess I didn't have much to do and I felt okay. And that after that, uh, I guess my body acclimat acclimatized. And then um, because the, because I was still, I guess, able to push short of the, uh, uh, the cortisol, with, like with the cortisol, I was able to push through it, like with the stress hormones. And then after that, when I took the two weeks off after that, um, and you, like your hormone levels start going down, and that's when everything just stopped. Like I, it was like completely done because, um, like from that point on, I was literally wasn't able to go to a supermarket normally. Like it was like uh, I had like super high sensitive hearing or something. My like the the uh, lights were too bright everywhere um is because my my hormones were completely out of whack because i was like pushing myself too hard with all of the the just overworking all of the time um and like i mentioned that like you don't see that coming if in retrospect you i could have seen it seen that coming uh when i look back on it because i uh, like um i was always doing too much and i didn't enjoy my work as much as i used to because i used to always really enjoy my work and that got less and less and less and i had periods where i was like oh, i know i maybe you should do another job or whatever like start doing other work so um like the 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 pleasure kind of went out of oh, out of doing uh this type of work um and I mean, so if I look back on it and that, that was going back a couple of years already. So it wasn't, wasn't something that came overnight. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, like late 2017, like after I, uh, I finished up that job and then I sort of completely crashed and it was a long way to recovery. Like, um, I didn't work at all for about nine months. Then I started, uh, working again, which was uh pretty tough um and i guess all in all it took about two years to for the feel n like normal again to like to not have any of the any issues uh to like somewhat feel normal and like right now i feel completely normal like now it's been, been about like just over three years uh, and now I guess that problem like unless i completely if i do too much for a long period of time, uh i sort of like i i know that i've been overdoing it and i need to sort of um reel myself back in but i've i've been getting pretty okay at like uh recognizing when i'm doing too much kind of but with the whole uh corona stuff like because i had a, like what i what i did initially is um uh well, let me track back a little bit because anyway so okay i um so now I, I kind of explained what burnout is and I sort of hope that you, uh, that you kind of understand that it's not like um, just a small thing that you can sort of get out of easily or it's not something that you're gonna run into if you only overdo it for like a month or whatever. Uh, it's something you get into when you do this stuff over and over and over for long, for years. Um, so, Anyway, so anyway, I like what 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 I did also have my burnout. Like I got a separate working space. I moved my computer out of my out of my house. 
Um, and that was also good to like sort of keep the work-life balance. So I didn't have any computer equipment at home. So it was easy to sort of split it up. And during the whole Corona stuff, um, I kind of had to well get a desk at home, uh, get computer equipment at home because, uh, yeah, I mean, because of, because of the whole thing. I mean, I have a shared office space, so it was like, uh, just better to sort of, uh, during Corona to just work from home. Um, but what I, my problem is if I have this stuff at home, I'm going to work all the time. Uh, and for the most part, I mean, the burnout stuff is fine. Like I don't have a problem with that, but like the arms did start playing up. I think it's a combination of like stress and just then your body saying, well, Tim, stop, stop being so stressed out. Like stop doing stuff all the time uh, and just overdoing it. Um, but I mean, there's a whole, there's like a lot going on between like your, it's not just uh, physio physiological. It's like, it's a, I guess there's a strong correlation between mental stuff and like your body. Um, but anyway, the point I'm trying to sort of get, I know I'm just rambling here and I, I hope this is somewhat interesting and I'm not making a fool of myself for discussing this or bringing this up because I was actually quite nervous to record something like this. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, the point I'm trying to make is like, like don't push yourself too much like I did and have been doing since forever. Um, I mean, I know that like if you're too like if you're early twenties, mid twenties, you feel like oh I need to get everything sorted before my thirties. Need to get my career together. I need to be the best, the best uh, that like no one ever was. Uh, but I mean, truth be told, there's like plenty of time. You don't need to be. I mean, there's always going to be people that are better than you, that are younger than you. I mean, I'm 32 and then sometimes I look at people who are like 23, 24 and they do like super amazing work. And I'm like, what was I doing when I was that age? Like I was <laughs> so, uh, but I guess everybody has that. Uh, like I, I know people who change their entire careers like later in life and are really good. Like uh, I have a friend who used to just be do 3d and now he's a concept artist like he switched his entire career like in his 40s and he makes super amazing concept art and he did that in his 40s so it's not like 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 it's not there's no deadline on success i kind of want to want to bring home i guess like just i guess take it easy just do this stuff because you enjoy it don't feel like there's a like you don't need to prove yourself to to anyone even though like i should be the one talking because i'm the one always pushing my <laughs> putting myself to the limit but i i uh like guess learn from my mistakes um but yeah so that's kind of the point that i just wanted to drive home and i think now especially with everybody sitting at home during the whole COVID stuff is that People are constantly at home, which is already quite stressful. And you're going to have less of a work-life balance with the whole COVID-19 stuff because you're, a lot of you are working from home probably. So you're going to have the same situation that like, oh, well, that, 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 that I just mentioned. It's like, it's hard to, like you're, you might doing regular work stuff and you're already behind your computer and they're like ah, now i'm just gonna do hobby stuff or watch a tutorial and before you know it you're behind the computer for 12 13 14 hours um i guess that's going to be easier to well to to get into that habit if you live alone for example i live alone so i don't have anybody call me over uh, be like hey tim come go dinner so i have to actively like like meet up with friends to sort of drag myself away from uh from working and or my having my body tell me tim stop working uh <laughs> because now i'm also i'm just i cannot really do anything and i'm going to listen to my body this time uh anyway i keep rambling on but uh i hope this was sort of interesting uh, and hopefully in a sort of an, another take on the the whole uh stuff that people normally 
talk about their when they're talking about oh, you need to push yourself to the limit you need to work hard you need to work 24 hour days uh seven days a week um and i mean work hard like i'm i'm a firm believer in like like working hard making it for yourself like i don't i don't disagree with any of that like you, you need to like there's nothing wrong with pushing yourself and and whatever but just watch out for yourself that's kind of the the thing what i want to make and like don't overdo it and if i if i had to tell my younger self i guess anything is like it would be like chill out tim <laughs> even though like all of the stuff that i did younger brought did br bring me like nice work now and i mean and work with a lot of cool clients and i might have not had that if i didn't push myself to that to that extent uh but i mean maybe i would have been along further if i didn't have the um didn't have the sort of gap year where i wasn't able to work at all um uh, anyway i hope this was interesting i'm just gonna round this up because i'm not sure what else to talk about and hopefully this was interesting hopefully it made you think maybe about uh about some of these things and hopefully uh it wasn't just uh like what the hell is he talking about <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you in another one peace <laughs>